Well, good afternoon, Fancy Farm. Hey, where's the chicken suit guy? I wanted to say hi to Speaker Stumbo. I just saw him a few minutes ago and didn't know that he had shown up. This is my first time coming to St. Jerome's, and I want to thank Mark Wilson and the rest of his hard-working uh, committee for the invitation to come and speak today. It's really an honor. You know, out of 4.3 million people in the state of Kentucky, you'd think Hillary Clinton could have found one person willing to stand up here on stage and speak on her behalf. Even Allison Grimes wouldn't come and speak of her. Instead, they got somebody coming from North Carolina. They got to go out there to find somebody. But seriously, though, I'm happy to welcome Senator Hagan to Kentucky, and I hope she enjoys herself here. But just a word of advice, Duke and UNC are four-letter words around here. Carolina blue is not Kentucky blue. But enough about that. I'm here to talk about our national presidential campaign. It was my great honor to represent Kentucky on stage at the Republican National Convention and talk about the need for our country to elect Donald Trump and Mike Pence. I got a question for you all. Who here supports our coal miners in the coal industry? I don't hear anybody cheering on this side. Thanks to Obama, over 15,000 coal miners have lost their jobs over the past eight years, not to mention tens of thousands of other people whose jobs existed because of the money those miners brought into the state. And Hillary Clinton has said she'll continue to destroy the coal industry and put our remaining coal miners out of work. If Clinton, that's right, if Clinton's elected, get ready for your home electrical rates to skyrocket. Who here supports our Second Amendment rights? I don't hear anybody talking on this side. Obama and Clinton are continually calling for the restriction of our gun rights. And since Daniel Boone came through the Cumberland Gap, Kentuckians have relied on guns to help us protect our livestock, help us protect our families, and to help us protect us from our own government. The Obama-Clinton agenda wants to take away those rights. Who here supports lower taxes? I don't hear anybody on this side. Generations of American presidents from Kennedy to Reagan have supported lowering taxes on families and businesses. It's a proven policy that creates jobs, more investment, and actually increases revenue for our federal treasury. This past Wednesday, Hillary Clinton told a crowd in Nebraska that she's planning on increasing the taxes on the middle class. I mean, come on. Under Obama, the American middle class is under attack. Incomes are decreasing, but medical expenses, utilities, and the cost of living are increasing. And now Clinton wants to increase their tax burden too. Unbelievable. Who here wants a safer America? I don't hear anybody on this side. Ask yourselves, after eight years of Obama, is America safer than we were before? Absolutely. We all know that it's not. Islamic terrorists are perpetrating attacks after attack around the world, including here at home. We have a president who panders to the groups that want to destroy us. And Obama himself has said that he's not even certain what to do about ISIS. Hillary Clinton has already pledged to continue to follow Obama's failed policies. If you want a glimpse at just how dangerous she'd be as commander-in-chief, look no further than the loss of U.S. lives in Benghazi. Who wants, who wants a transparent government? I hear nobody on this side again. Under Obama and Clinton, we've had lies about Obamacare, lies about IRS scandals, lies about our VA hospitals, lies about phone records spying, lies about green energy crony bankruptcies, lies about Benghazi, lies about the Iranian nuclear deal, lies about Clinton's email server placing our national safety at risk, lies about money for hostages in Iran. These people are incapable of telling the truth. There is absolutely no leadership in our White House, just corruption, lies, and a lack of transparency. We have a president who has been more interested in taking vacations, hobnobbing with celebrities, and complaining about Congress than protecting American lives, American rights, and America's reputation abroad. We cannot afford another four years like the past eight. And for Kentuckians, the choice is obvious this November. As I said at the RNC, this is not about America going left or about America going right, but America going up or America going down. And I hope that you will stand up with me, stand up for Kentucky, and support Donald Trump and Mike Pence, and together we can make America great again. Thank you. Thank you, Fancy Farm.